Hoosiers. Lance Stimler comes in and Aaron Aflalo back in for UCLA. Two teams right now are combined five of 21. In the face of, of Alfred Aboya to get him straight as to what he's to be doing. Callaway. Collison right there. Tough shot, but it's good. And JB, you notice the post up. So there's no let up from UCLA. But yeah, Indiana's found the formula a couple of times. Spread, penetrate off the bounce, kick the open shooter. And they've got to continue to do that. Callaway. That's Three. what they did. Just what they did. Two of three. P.J. White keeps it alive. 109 left in regulation. Hoosiers trailing by two with the ball. Callaway slicing. Hits it high off the glass. Count it. 14 for Wilmot, who averages just under 12. Rebounded by Wilmot. Ahead to Callaway. And Callaway counted. Rivio will pick up the foul. Fargo with a nice pass. Blocked by White. You knew that was getting blocked. Yes, Evening News with Katie Curry. D.J. White, 16 points, 10 rebounds. Nice to have that weapon come alive in the second half, as you mentioned, Len. One minute left in the contest. So Indiana will move on to face the number two seed, UCLA, impressively winning over Weaver State earlier this evening here in Sacramento. Well, this has been a game where Indiana has utilized their hot outside shooting in the first half. And then they went to their big man in the second half. DJ White with two in a row. That's it. Two possessions. Final five seconds. And Callaway brings it uh, down coast to coast. Callaway scores. That's his first. A little shake and bake in the basket and blocked by White. Quickly, Indiana back with numbers. Here's Callaway. Penn State 6-2 and a junior. And the good news for Penn State is most of these players are back. Most of the scoring, most of the rebounding, and nothing but the bright side for Ed Pichellis and his Penn State team. What a move on Earl Callaway. The senior is supposed to do. And it could have a big impact in the tournament in Chicago next week as well as the NCAA tournament. Back to live action. Penn State continues in a zone. Indiana leading by three with three made three so far in the game. Make it four. Wow, I think Earl heard you that time. Four with a three ball inside double digits. But Indiana got the steal. Callaway gets the break. Layup Hoosiers. Friday is always a big day in that tournament. The teams that get the bye get to play their first game, setting up the semifinals on Saturday. And then really one of the last games played before the announcement. Usually there's about a half hour to 45 minutes after the end of that Big Ten game before the uh, pairings are announced for the NCAA. Two teams that make it to the finals hang around and await the big word. That's anticipated to be Wisconsin Ohio State, but Wisconsin's had a major injury and appears to be a bit vulnerable. And uh, Indiana has the pleasure to run some clock. That's a risky pass, that high lob over the defender in the middle. Ayu gets away with it. Wilmot cut off on the baseline. Still 15 on this possession to work with. Another dangerous pass. Callaway fires. Score. Indiana down four now with a chance to cut that lead and not give Purdue a chance to shoot before the half. It's been a game of runs back and forth. Purdue had an extended 15 to 4 run that opened up an 11 point lead, but Indiana, as you mentioned, has been battling back ever since. Time winding down. Here comes Callaway. Well, Nabor, who called both of those. I also saw the officials chatting with, with him. Maybe, you know, these are big guys. Let him play a little bit. Callaway, the jump shot. That's when he's got a mid range game now. 
That includes a 51-43 victory on January the 23rd in Champaign. And here's that little stagger. Bassett to Callaway, a three. Got it! Well, you've got to stay up. But I don't know about that call. Well, we have seen some chippies. That was Samson. Samson was on the ref at that point in front of his bench. That may have been a coach's call. Callaway's left open. Yes, as he knocks down two. And the most unlikely. Game out of first place in the conference. Iowa has won 12 of the last 13 Big Ten home games here at Carver Hawkeye Arena where they're so tough. And Callaway will silence the crowd a little bit here. Earl Callaway. To the NCAA first. To Samson establishing his program. And to Alfred being able to maintain winning at home, which is one of the staple of Iowa. Second half underway, Callaway knocks down that jump shot. Well, the foul situation. Well, she can bank on him for a good effort. That kid's a 100 percenter. Oh, you are the master of the segue. <laughs> Ratliff. I, I just love the intensity of this game. Active hands, quick foot movement. There you go. Right to your money guy. Callaway pulls up, pops, and drained it. Why go? Why even take Raymond with the charge, his fourth foul. Callaway has to hustle. In the paint, it floats in for him. 77. Landry makes a one of two. It's a one point game now in the game. 15 14. Something about Ratliff is receiving a wrap on his left hand that Calvin Sampson says he's. Kind of forced the goal line probably 90 percent of the time huh? and sometimes it, you know it's the left hand it can cause a little misalignment you will on that jump ball there's a good shooter even with an that's a two ball by the hustle by land and i stand corrected it was flowers sliding over down on the baseline the front dj it was not uh, cameron taylor it's callaway exploding off the dribble it's out of control and uh, callaway style was six rebounds in the game but just uh, over two shooting the basketball here tonight in Indiana. Indiana set in place for DJ trying to get the ball on the block. And Wisconsin's changed the defense. They're trying to front White, although right now Butch is playing behind him. He's going to get help from the weak side if it does go in there, though. Got to push it out of the perimeter so they can't get that ball into number three. There's Callaway. Eight on the shot clock now. Crossover dribble. Step back. He's got it. Facing up on the basket takes the baseline. That was White who got a hand on it. White is having a terrific defensive game, and look at the results then on the other end. Two three zone. Coleman dribbles into the paint. One hands it swatted away by White. That triggers the fast break. Callaway lays it in. How about the. Make sure they take care of business there. Go to Ohio State and try to devise some way to get a victory. So the Hoosiers, ranked number 24, will do it again to Michigan here at Assembly Hall. That will be 11 consecutive wins over the Wolverines on this court. Indiana will improve to 15 and 5, and 5 and 2 in the Big Ten. There's everybody chasing Wisconsin down the lane. Callaway to lay it in. And low to Pruitt lost the handle. Indiana up with the turnover. Here's Galloway auditioning out of Ratliff, one of the first subs off Samson's bench. Mike White and A.J. Ratliff jump in off the Hoosier bench here. 30 to go in the first half. Indiana's led all the way. We haven't even seen Joey Shaw, another capable freshman. We saw have an excellent game earlier this year in Big Ten play. Ray White, big white body. Galloway outside, good in. Rotate into position when the ball is taken to the basket. Those are all contested shots, a lot of traffic, a lot of congestion in the basket area. Callaway again to the line. Hoosiers will be back. This was a this was a time, as I said in the first half, when you would want to be playing Indiana, and they nailed a three ball. Time. This athlete, he has 15 points. 51-47, Indiana. Callaway, big jump shot there. It's a three. Away. Got the miss back. And finally, Earl Callaway. Next possession. Probe it. Don't force it. But play through the man.
Callaway off the dribble. And Pichella said it was critical they not turn it over today because Indiana will cash in. And Callaway, 20 left in the half. Callaway inside the arc. Oh. The three point shot. Great backdoor cut, but a block by DJ White, who leads the Big Ten in blocks. We are still scoreless two minutes in. Stumbling, Callaway recovers and breaks the scoring skin. And a little who he handed you something. That's what a senior does. He makes a play and he hit that shot. So Indiana with a nine point lead nearing the six minute mark. Callaway, nice fake. You saw the block coming from Kramer, so you. Purdue played twice last year. Indiana won both games, and none of the five starting players for Purdue played in either one of those games. That amazing. These are all new guys who have never played, uh, at least for a year, in this big game. And a three ball for Callaway. No. Rebound, Trump. Another turnover. Callaway wants to beat. And the freshman Dolman on the floor. Whoops, Knights had almost lost it. Trap, great defense. And there's Callaway at the other end. Got it. Just great hustling defense by Indiana. Very successful. Oh, there's a nice play by Wheeling. There's Callaway. Oh, finds him, got it. There. Well, Morgan could have used a little help by Ebok to block out White so he wouldn't have such an open look for that block. Callaway throws by Drew Knight. Okay. State-Iowa matchup. Big Ten play opening up this week. Coming in for the hoop is Callaway. You were talking about DJ down here being possibly tired. He's logged over 33 minutes here tonight. Callaway on the drive. Wilmot misfires. Stemler the offensive rebound. Offensively, what do the Hoosiers need to do? Well, they'd like to go to D.J. White, but Western's trying to bottle him up inside. Then it's up to the outside shooting, and so far, Indiana's not been able to make the shots. They're open shots. Haven't been able to make Callaway gets loose and knocks in the 10-footer. Of Indiana scoring. Callaway gets inside. Little floater up and in. Michigan, their largest lead of the game has been seven. Steele ahead of the pack. Callaway the left-handed lamb and the Hoosiers are on top. And Indiana came out and made a real push and Western Michigan staying right with them. This is a game that looks like it's going to go right to the line. Oh, that's too easy. Callaway will take the rebound. That's the second offensive rebound of the game. Very quick. Oh, Callaway may have gotten away with one. Knocked it down to the floor. Left-handed lamp up and in. The first. Some kids are like that. Tied again, and you have the feeling that this grinder might come down to a last shot. Oh, discard. And Callaway got it. Now Kentucky wants to run. They don't have numbers. Bradley pull up jumper. Can't connect. Here comes Eric Sewer. He'll slow it down. Fires to Callaway. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Right down defensively there. Get back on top. Another reminder, Texas A&M UCLA, the second game by double header. Callaway has been left alone a lot. Well, he's super quick and he comes up with Goldwire with that jumper and again leaning back a little bit. But a very quick move to hard shot the block and the player's falling back. Oh, Indiana's shooting there. Good penetration by Callaway, right? And Callaway, who can go pretty fast with the ball, walks it into the front court, recognizing seven minutes left in the game and lots of time to find a good shot, which he'll take. And score. <laughs> good shot by Bass. Well, Get right back. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, in this game, we've seen some phenomenal comebacks. But Indiana has a two on nothing Callaway to finish. Good play by Mike White. Top, especially with Isaiah Thomas and Tommy Blitz and Huff Sampson. Callaway the floater. Oh, he got one. He got one. Got a little momentum. Got a down to 12. She watches two kids go head to head. 
He told Ronnie on his radio show, what are you stupid? What are you stupid playing the Hoyas? JT3 beat Ronnie. Georgetown over Ball State. We'll have Georgetown do for you Saturday night, 7 Eastern on ESPN2. I miss those legends like John on the sideline. Callaway, his problem sometimes going a little bit too quickly, too many turnovers. Plays at an Indianapolis Raceway. He has a little speed, quickness. The spin, the pull up, and we are tied here at Cameron. I think that he's going to wake up. Points now as he knocks down the free throws to cut the Indiana lead to 16. Callaway off the glass. There's a nice job. Overall, his uh, first game here in Bloomington. And it'll be a memorable one for sure. Uh, his chance to be the head coach of Indiana. He was very excited about that. Now his first game. Basket by Callaway. Yeah. Wilmot with a big rebound. Here comes Indiana. Callaway jumper. Good. You look for DJ White. Now down to five. He needs to get it off. Still by Indiana. Callaway all the way to the hoop. Lays it in. Shaw. Still looking for DJ White, can't find him. Mike White. Callaway, jumper, and he finds the net. Good shot by Callaway. Now got the lead up to 10. Coach Sampson talking to DJ White there, his leader on the team. Indiana with this biggest lead. Indiana on the 8-0 run. The last 155. Callaway drives to it. Five-point lead for the Hoosiers. 2.15 left to play. Turnover by the Sycamores. Callaway lays it in. Lead inside and really be focused defensively or he'll get in foul trouble. Grace, who's the two guard right now, but can also handle, has his shot blocked by Ratliff. In transition, Callaway with the layup. That's the one at the head with this club, especially when White's on in terms of there they go to the basket wow. in Indiana. Nice give and go. This is a commitment that dates back nine months and up until two weeks prior to this young man changing his mind, he was telling Illinois that he was still coming. Now make no mistake, in no way is Bruce Weber naive. He spent 18 years... ...deserve better at Michigan in terms of their facility. That last foul on Everest Schmidt, his second. Another foul away from the ball, turning the ball back over to Indiana. Callaway with a floater. Wide open from Ted Detmer. We talked about it, Gordon, but looking forward, there were so many good Indiana kids who did not come to Bloomington in the last several years. A Sean May, a Josh McRoberts, a Greg Well, look where they went. They, they went to great schools. Yeah, you know, you go yeah. to Duke, North Carolina, Ohio State in the case of Oda. I mean, in fairness to Mike Davis, what about the Watch him in a warm-up, and you can just tell the kid has a great stroke. Rolled his ankle and shoot around today. But George. No. Count. Likes to shoot the three. A miss by Brown that would have tied it. I thought Brown was bumping that sequence. They're doing a great job containing the penetration of Callaway. He's really been outstanding at times last year. He played brilliant in the NCAA tournament. Turnaround jumper, right five-point lead. He out and helping out on the glass. Well, he does a good job on the glass. He rebounds well for a guard. And he'll reset under control. Oh, just just oh. about put his heel oh, down, but he just about close. stepped into the backcourt. Close. He's taking a look on their faces. Yes, sir. Call your friends on. Yep. Lafayette battling the Hoosiers in Indianapolis. BC lost to Vermont earlier tonight. Lafayette trying to pull off an upset. Got away again. Take it over. He's trying to be Earl the Pearl. <laughs> they got to try to find a way to contain the penetration on number 5-1 right here. There he goes. There he goes. It's a showtime. A little show and looking in the last couple of minutes now that they will advance to play Butler tomorrow night at 9 Eastern on ESPN. And some people might look at the score and think this was an easy game. Forget about it. <laughs> Forget about it. As Mr. Gattafini would say. Oh, yes. They can't.